Hi, HWE141. I know the class has ended. It's Wednesday, April 7th. Um, I just wanted to post one last video about the discussions. I've just finished grading discussions for the last week, week five, um, mostly revolving around uh, the feeding relationship. Just kind of pulling that up here. Um, I just wanted to comment. I don't know if any of you will get back to this, um, but I truly appreciate your um, discussions in week five regarding um, the feeding relationship in particular, but food preferences and behaviors and what it looks like to be um, feeding an infant. And sh I appreciate you sharing your personal experiences, Kim in particular, uh, that was very, um, uh, it was, uh, prominent to you just because um, that's something that you're doing currently with your infant. Um, Danica, thanks for sharing stories about your grandchildren. All of you guys, uh, Peyton, you just, it, there was great sharing involved there and I appreciate uh, those stories. So really bringing to light too um, how our relationship really affects uh our relationship with food as a caregiver affects the relationship that our children then um, have with their their food as well. So we are role models, right? So they see us doing everything. They see us eating during the day or not eating during the day or being picky about foods and then they become picky with food. We're, we're a mirror, especially if we're we're exuding these behaviors we would like them to have, we need to portray them ourselves. And so I, I go back to the quiz um, and then the first question that feeding is parenting, parenting is feeding. So feeding your child and establishing this wonderful relationship around food and a, a positive feeding relationship with your child is just like parenting. So if we expect to see good behaviors in our children and kindness and humility and um, uh, a sense of responsibility and uh, we need to model those behaviors. The same goes with eating. So if we, we would like to um, see our children eat a variety of nutritious foods and not focus on um, processed packaged fatty foods and have a horrible relationship as they grow up, then we need to model that for our children. And so you guys have just done a fabulous job discussing that and I appreciate that. Um, and also the example of, of that backfiring and um, what happens then if our kids aren't shown that behavior. There's too much authoritarian behavior during that feeding relationship and there's too much of a struggle, it backfires. And then we see kids that have a horrible um, experience with food or with their relationship with food, which can be very damaging. Okay, that's all I had to say. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I loved reading your posts um, and I appreciate all the experiences that were shared. Happy Wednesday, happy spring, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the semester. Take care.